Hey guys, this is uh, Blender Choxy uh, with a terrible cold, so um, I'm going to say sorry in advance, but today I'm going to do a basic texturing tutorial, uh, which will require you to use GIMP 2. Uh, you can use Photoshop, given that you know how to use it, but I don't have Photoshop, so I can't show you how. But before I get started, I'd just like to say um, that I have a deviant art profile, as you can see, with a me in a suit. I really should have like removed that, but um, yeah, you can see all my latest work. Uh, let me see, browse gallery. I think I have ten pictures up. It's it's not tons, but uh, it's still pretty cool to check out. And um, soon I will be making a uh, reload tutorial, so you guys can check that out because it was requested. And I'm sorry I haven't done it in a while, but it's quite tricky. I have to really get down to it because I haven't used Blender in a while. So, I'm going to use one of the recent guns that I've made. Uh, hang on, i got to delete there a minute. Delete that and delete that. No, delete. Thank you. But yeah, this is going to be a texturing tutorial. And if I open up a blackout weapon that I made, uh, Scout's Guardian, we'll use this. Okay, so as you can see here, it's um, it's got this AO. And uh, I'm going to really quickly show you how you can do this. So you, it all has to be one piece, you can separate the meshes later, but it's a lot easier if you just put it as one big piece. Just simply select all, press U for unwrap, and say smart UV project and OK. And then I'm just going to delete that, and then you click new, black image, and then you go to this camera icon here, the render icon. Uh, this is Blender 2.57, so uh, I don't know if it's different or not. I haven't done ambient occlusion in 2.49. But go to click ambient occlusion, uh, clear, and the margin set to 32, and click bake. And uh, once you've done that, you're going to want to do two things. And uh, that is simply A, image, pack as PNG, file, external data pack into the dot blend file and then what you want to do is go to image save as image go to your desktop and name it something uh, I don't know uh, I'll, we'll just name it gun AO there we go <coughs> if uh, my computer will unfreeze very nicely thank you okay if we minimize that uh, gun AO here it is and if we open up GIMP, I know it's a it's a funny it's a funny name, GIMP. Yeah, it's got a nice ring to it. Uh, you just want to gonna drag that in there like that. Now I've got two textures here. Uh, we're gonna start off with this metal thing, and what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna drag that in there, and we're gonna click this little scale button here, and we're gonna click on the metal hull picture we're gonna move that out of the way a minute and we're just gonna scale that up there is an easier way of doing it but I'm new to GIMP so I really can't remember but there you go with that done you wanna click on that and go to mode overlay and you don't have to that just makes it less visible so we just pull that up on the full uh, and you could just leave it as that but I want mine to have a camo so I'm just gonna drag him in there and do the same again, just to give it, make it look really cool. Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 scale. Or you could just hit enter, it's up to you. Normal, overlay, on the full. There we go, and if we wanted to, we could sort of maybe get a pencil, make it really small, and just say, uh, we'll, we'll have black stuff. And we'll just we'll just dash this around everywhere to give it that sort of uh, okay switch, and we'll just make it look scratched. And there's no real technique as to where you put these scratches. Although mine will probably look terrible because I'm not amazing in GIMP, but just okay. There we go. That's enough scratches, I think. <laughs> okay, file. Uh, we're gonna save as so we don't overwrite anything. Gun AO AO Okay, save. Export. Don't worry about anything. Don't fiddle with anything from there. So then we're just gonna close this down and we're gonna go back into Blender and we're gonna go to image. 
and then we're gonna go to replace image and then the gun AOAO and there you go that's a really basic tutorial on texturing uh, a gun in blender but really don't remember to go file external data and pack into the dot blend file okay I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful um, help me out with a subscribe and a like thank you goodbye